Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter and this is your Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Wednesday, January 18th. Seeing some areas of patchy dense fog out there this morning with continued cold weather and light snow through the remainder of the week. And I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points we're going to focus on today. Patchy dense freezing fog does exist across portions of our valley zones this morning with visibilities less than a mile leading to some potentially slippery road conditions and some light snow flurries. We'll see a series of two systems work in the later part of this week. Number one will move in tonight with a trace to two inches and up to about six inches in the South Hills, Albion Mountains, south of the Magic Valley. And second system will move in Saturday into Sunday. Again, looking very light snow with maybe it's about three, four inches in the mountains, but again, mounts in the valley staying low. High pressure ridge off the Pacific coast will be remaining in control for the foreseeable future, leading to continued light rounds of snow and below normal temperatures here in eastern Idaho. Satellite this morning, you can see the bright colors here shown in green. That's going to be areas of low stratus and fog. And with that, we are seeing some visibilities down to about a low as, you know, a couple hundred feet in places. So certainly take your time out there should you encounter any flurries, you know, snow-covered roads, and then if it comes down to dense fog as well. You can see to our west here, outer level clouds shown here in those red colors. going to be working in west to east throughout the day. So mostly sunny day for those outside of the fog and stratus with increasing clouds building in from the west. Weather scout look for the next five days. Main concerns for the next few days is just going to be that freezing fog and the potential for some light snow for the later part of tomorrow into Thursday. And for Friday, Saturday, seeing a short break in between that. Might not see some uh, patchy vents fog uh, redevelop in between that period, but our next system will work in for late Saturday into Sunday. Watch as warnings and advisories currently in effect. Do have a winter weather advisory from National Weather Service office in Boise. In effect for portions of the Treasure, Magic Valley, Owyhees, and into southeast Oregon and northern Nevada. With that, we'll see some snow expected, generally about 1 to 3 inches, so slightly more than what we'll see over here, and about 4 to 6 inches above 4,000 feet. Further out in eastern Idaho, do that freezing fog advisory. That's going to be going until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Visibility less than 1 mile in freezing fog. And even outside of this zone, you could expect some patchy areas of freezing fog this morning, of which could be dense. Current temperatures this morning. So Copper Basin checking in negative 14 degrees, Stanley negative 7, Driggs negative 5. So areas that are seeing those clear skies getting very cold. We have that northerly flow as that ridge sits off the western coast. So having that cold northerly air coming in from Canada will lead to some very cold morning temperatures, single to double digits below zero in our typical cold prone areas. But afternoon highs today should return to seasonable norms in the teens, 20s to mid 30s. Let's break down the precipitation timing for a later part of today. So things will remain dry outside of some scattered flurries underneath these low clouds. I'm taking you to 9, 10 o'clock tonight. We'll see that snow begin to work in through the Owyhees and into central Idaho by tomorrow morning. With that, we're going to see some light snow, maybe see some more moderate bands as you get out into the Magic Valley. But generally, as you get further east, may stand a chance at just some light snow, some flurry action. But as far as accumulations, should be fairly limited and mostly across central and western Idaho. Snowfall amounts until midnight tonight, generally looking at a very light amount of snow uh, through midnight tonight, just a potential up near Sun Valley, north into the Central Mountains. And taking it to th through Thursday, it's going to be the more impactful period for at least a little bit of snow, maybe about one to two inches for some of our mountains further west and up along the divide and further south. Seeing some more impressive totals as you get out into the South Hills and Albion Mountains. But outside of that, the totals should remain pretty light, if any, across portions of extreme eastern and southeast Idaho. So by tonight and tomorrow, so not seeing a whole lot of additional accumulations with this system. This takes into account for tonight into tomorrow as well. Not seeing a whole lot of accumulation. Again, just about an inch or two in portions of the Magic Valley. And by Friday, much of that snow will shift to our south as it system departs from our area. So not looking at anything for a later part of Friday into Saturday. Outside of some, maybe some scattered snow flurries. Wind gusts this morning going to be starting off on the breezier side of things further south with gusts of about 30, 40 miles an hour. But taking you through the later part of the day, we'll be seeing those wind gusts, again, slightly breezy in the Magic Valley, but nothing above 30 miles an hour. High temperatures for Thursday. So we're going to be seeing those temperatures as far as, you know, Thursday going to be in the 20s and 30s. Strictly cooling trend as we get through the later part of the week. Wind gusts on Thursday, generally about up to 30 miles an hour again. Staying with the active weather pattern, we'll keep some slightly breezy winds in the forecast. And by Thursday night, those will be coming off the continental divide, slightly breezy up to about 30 to even 40 miles an hour. High temperatures on Friday, keeping with that cooling trend, 20s and 30s, nothing too atypical. Yeah, wind gusts on Friday, again, those uh, downsloping winds off the continental divide and down towards Sweetser Summit and along the Utah border along I-84. Could see some continued breeziness on Friday. And by Friday night, lighter winds should return with gusts up to about 20 miles an hour. High temperatures for your Saturday. Keep it with that cooler trend. Start to see some more teens and 20s in the forecast for your start to your weekend. With teens and 20s and even some low 30s as you get into the Magic Valley. 
And wind gusts on Saturday should be fairly light out there in between systems. Not looking at a whole lot of moisture. Some cold northerly air will be in place. That should be helping to limit our fog chances for Friday into Saturday. Could see some patchiness running around out there, but certainly not as widespread as we're seeing there this morning. And wind gusts Saturday night. So ahead of that system rolling in, wind gusts will pick up about 20 to 30 miles an hour in the higher terrain and lower snake plain in Magic Valley. High temperatures for your Sunday, keeping with that cool trend, teens, 20s, and low 30s near seasonal for this time of year with very cold morning temperatures, especially for those that stay clear. Wind gusts on Sunday, so as the system rolls through, we will see gusts at about 20 to 30 miles an hour, strongest as you get out towards Twin Falls, South Hills, and Owyhee Mountains. And by Sunday night, continued slight breeziness, but nothing too atypical for your East Idaho standards, gusts at about 20, 30 miles an hour. And a look at what's to come. So take a look at these climbing outlooks. This is going to be through January 23rd through January 27th. You see that high pressure ridge to our west is going to be bringing below normal favorite precipitation across portions of western Idaho. So once this system kind of forks in uh, for the later part of today into tomorrow, we'll be seeing a drier trend further west as moisture works up and over the ridge into our area. So slightly above normal favored uh, as you get up into Island Park. 6 to 10 day temperature outlook for then that period as well is going to be below normal favored. So that colder northerly air will be in our area for the foreseeable future, taking you through the later part of January, leading to below normal temperatures. 8 to 14, not a whole lot of change in terms of temperature wise, still favored below normal, but could see a return to some slightly more active weather and near normal precipitation is expected. But that's our weather briefing for today, Wednesday, January 18th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome day.